Yeah, for half around the house, I have to put a new basket. And this sink, the basket nut broke, which has happened before. See this nut? It cracked when I took it off. It broke the rest of the way. Um, so I went and got a new basket. Do not go with the cheap two for $15 baskets. What you'll have <clears throat> is you'll have the nut is so cheap and small. See the difference in the nuts? You want the big nuts, right? Everybody wants big nuts. So I went with the, uh, I think this was $18 for this basket. I also picked up the wrench to hold it. So what happens is if you're holding these, these are so thin that sometimes you'll distort. See that down here? Right down there, you can see that that's distorted. So I went and picked up, I haven't had one of these. I wanted one for years and years and years. It's just that I haven't been able to convince myself to spend the $12 because you use it very, very seldom. And I've had this for quite a while. These are worth their weight in gold. These are too big to use underneath there. Let me show you. If you attempt, if you attempt to use these, what you will do is you bang into everything trying to use them. There's just no room. What you do is you bang into everything. There's just no room underneath there to use them. Channel locks are nice, but they just don't work very well. They're too big. So you can hook this. This is made in such a way that that hooks into it. Let me show you. See that? See how that hooks in? And then you can turn it either way. And if you need a little bit more leverage, you can go get yourself a, a socket. And you can use a socket wrench with an extension. There's a lot of different ways you can use this. Let's see, what else can I tell you on these silly baskets? You roll out your little worm of plumber's putty that's guaranteed to never dry out, just like this old stuff was guaranteed never to dry out or crumble, and it does. It's garbage. After a while, it just gets heated and cooled and wet and rots. But to begin with, you roll out your little worm, and you smear it in there just like this. Just like that. You make yourself a nice even little rope around there. See that? And you drop it in. Push it down a little bit. Try to get it centered if you can. Now before you do that, I clean that surface, which is an easy one to clean. What a lot of people forget to do is to clean the surface underneath there. And I clean that as well. I just grab a scrub right and you just scrub around there. You make sure it's clean. You still got a little bit of gunk right there, it looks like. But you got to remember, your rubber gasket is going to be pushing up against that. And this is how those go. So your rubber gasket will go just like that. And your paper, a little cardboard, goes there so that it will slip. All that is is like a slip gasket, slip ring. So that when you put that uh, nut against there and spin it, it won't grab the rubber and twist it. Now what's nice is if you have this wrench, or not wrench, I guess it's a wrench. Hell, I don't even remember what they called it. But if you have this tool, you can do it from the bottom. You can do everything from the bottom. Let me show you. So you take rubber goes against the bottom of the sink. Paper goes against the washer. And this is a righty tighty, lefty loosey type of a situation. Okay, she started. It's a relatively fine thread. Like that. But sometimes you get lucky and it won't spin on you. And now I make, I, I stop when I get that snug a little bit and then I take a peek to make sure we're centered in, in the sink. So let's make sure we're centered. That don't, that don't look too bad. So what we're going to do now is we're going to apply a little bit of pressure to that. First by hand, as far as I can go. And then I'm going to grab our wrench. This guy right here again, remember this one? And we're going to catch one of the little knobs on the nut. And then we're going to slowly tighten it. And this is so much easier than using those big channel locks. Even though I do have some room down here, it's not really a matter of having room here. You're going to hit the handle right there and you're going to hit and you can't really grab it because you have other things in the way. The cabinet's in the way. There's all sorts of things to make you swear. 
So far, I'm not moving. The basket is staying stationary. Now, there's always a question, how tight do I go with this? Well, you go a little bit beyond snug. And what I did is I just checked to make sure we're still centered, and we are. Now, luckily, this sink isn't like sandpaper, because I've had them, too, where you slip, take the skin off your knuckles. That's kind of fun, too. Now, I'm getting a little bit of movement out of the basket, so I might have to grab our tool to keep the basket from moving. So I'm not quite happy with the snugness there. So I'm going to... Okay, I'm pretty happy with the tightness there. And let's see what kind of squeeze out we have. Oh yeah, look at that. So let me grab, grab that. And it's so clean that you can actually reuse it. So I'll put it back in the container, a plumber's putty, and we can reuse that stuff. But that's just about it. That's as easy as it gets. And then when I'm done hooking everything up like I am, I already ran some water through there. No leaks, but I also stop it up, let it sit there for 15 minutes, and I can also see that you're going to continue to get a little bit of squeeze out. Now I also will go back in there and try tightening it up. Make sure everything's snug because this is going to continue to squeeze out a little bit because it's a pretty thick product. It's not thin, so time will make it squeeze out a little bit more. But that's how we leak test, too, and so far, so good. Hat wrap around the house. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Consider subscribing to our channel. Got any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.